Zazi Willy Tuva, representing Mseto East Africa, Mambo Mseto on Radio Citizen. And today our guest is Jackie Shandiro. Welcome to the show, Jackie. Thank it's good to have you on Mseto. Thank you so much for having me. Uh -huh. So how have you been? Uh, has been mm -hmm. most of the time, mm -hmm. but very fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've been in Nairobi for a while. What do you do in Nairobi? Um, apart from work, before that I was just chilling. Uh -huh. Because um, that was part of the reason as to why I was I, I came to Nairobi. Okay. To just take some time off after you know everything that happened. Uh -huh. So I was just chilling. Okay. So you mentioned work. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What work are you talking about? I am in studio. I am literally in and out of studio. Mm -hmm. I um, intend this is is the, an album for example that i call uh, okay is like a resurrection for example to uh, me uh -huh. so i'm basically going to work with people that i believe musically uh -huh. create timeless music mm. and so I, I i keep going to studio to try and figure out like mm. to get the right sign sound okay. out which studio are you working many studios mm -hmm. as of now mm -hmm. but uh mainly it's j records mm -hmm. um and I work with Vicky uh -huh. as Vicky well. Pondis. Yeah. All right, some of the artists that you you've m maybe you, you, you're planning to work with or you're already working with? Um, I don't want to let the cut out of the bag so soon. But oh, okay. um, yes, there is uh, Kidum, mm -hmm. for example. I've mm. done some work with um, mm. Arab Boy. Then uh, in a couple of days, I'll be traveling to Tanzania. Uh -huh. So uh, yes. So and you don't I, want to mention which artist you're, you're looking forward to watching. I don't want to mention because I don't <laughs> want to. Stop. I want it to come as a, as, a, as a bang, uh, as a surprise. Okay. And then I'll be traveling to West Africa. Okay. Yes. So this album is called. We haven't yet found the right title. I think Resurrection. Resurrection. Uh, yeah, Resurrection mm. uh, sounds good. Okay. If you say so. If you say so. <laughs> yeah, I believe so. <laughs> um, so you've been you've been doing music, and apart from music, I'm sure. The other things that have been keeping you going, I'm sure for anyone, mm -hmm. we, we, we can't just live uh, without having something that brings in income to make you do what you do. So what are these other things that you do? Um, have you invested in something? Yes, uh -huh. I had actually, I was, should I say, fortunate enough mm. um, before whatever it is that happened to me. Mm. Um, there was a period before when I made certain mm. savings, should I say, mm -hmm. and they were supposed to be released at a specific time. Okay. And uh, it's, I don't know if I should say fortunately or unfortunately, mm. but uh, they came out at this good time. Uh -huh. So whatever it is that I had put aside and I told them, you know, give me, you can only release this, release this after 10 uh, years, uh -huh. finally. Uh -huh. So it's so, good money. Millions of money. I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not talking. <laughs> so in Nairobi, do you um, live on your own or you have family in Nairobi? Um, yes, I do have family mm. in, in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Although um, I'm literally by myself, but I spend a lot of time there. I've got a, a niece, nephew, mm -hmm. um, sister, you know. So they're, they're there. I do have... Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're... You feel at home when you're in Nairobi. I'm very much at home. <laughs> okay, um, so much has been said about uh, what you've been through, mm -hmm. but today I want to dwell on things that people also don't know about uh, Jackie mm -hmm. Shandiru. Okay. And this is also this also has to do with your love life. Ah. One of the things that I would like to touch on is your love life. Okay. Um, let me see if there are any rings on your on your finger. <laughs> so there many. Are many. Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Many. So let's start with your right finger. What the, what's the significance of the, of this ring on your? <laughs> these these are just completely for sure. Uh -huh. So there is nothing like a like uh -huh. a ring that 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 you know symbolizes anything. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Have you ever been married before? Yes, I have been married before. Mm -hmm. What happened to your relationship? Um, he could not uh, handle the all the negative publicity that was coming mm -hmm. with my problem because mm. it was affecting his business and uh, he was a. Uh, is a country diplomat in Europe, mm -hmm. so it wasn't good. Okay. Yeah. For him. It's me who. Okay. Should I say I broke his heart? Minus infidelity, uh -huh. discretion, whatever. It's me on your who, part or on his part? You no, know, it's me who I am the domestic. What 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 are the things that you did that uh, led to uh, the breakup? Addiction, yeah, but um, addiction can be anything. It mm -hmm. doesn't even have to be a drug. Mm. It's just that the level at which I was at with with mm. with addiction was. Hi. Did he help you? He did. A what did lot. he do? He he stood by me. You mm -hmm. know, he he stayed with me for for a while, a long time, and mm -hmm. even after he supported me, mm -hmm. he was there. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So what made him leave you? He just couldn't handle it anymore. He had had enough. Yeah, and I don't blame him. Mm -hmm. So he left. Yes. Do you feel like uh, betrayed in a way? No, no, no. Because I caused it. It was my fault. So I'm, I'm, I'm that kind of a person. I'm very just. Mm. So I can't blame his decision because he stood by me the longest time ever. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, did you divorce or what happened? Yeah, we did divorce. Um, it, it, it just it got to a point where it had to happen. We divorced, and um, but he asked if it was okay. Mm -hmm. And I realized if I kept him like longer in the marriage, mm -hmm. I was literally hurting him. And I didn't want to hurt him because that's like the kindest man ever. Mm -hmm. So I let him go. Are you in touch? Do you guys... Yeah, we spoke last night. Oh. Yeah. So... <laughs> There's a tweet that I I saw um, some time back. Mm -hmm. A tweet where you showed your ring. Ah. And it led to speculations that yeah, you guys are are planning to no, come I back just, together. I just I so, just I, you know you know sometimes we do things to make people talk. You know that was. So just... did you do that to make people talk? Yes. Are you guys not planning to come back together? <laughs> no, please say it. It's okay. No, you never Easier. know. No. <laughs> you never know. We, we, we speak. Yeah, mm. we, we, we do talk. Mm. But you, you just never know what direction things are going to take. But if it happens, it is something I have no problem with. So far? So far? Uh-huh. I don't want to say so. Please. Okay, there's a possibility. There's a possibility. Yeah. Is he supporting you in any way? Not supporting me, uh -huh. but um, should I say in terms of, of, of talking mm. and, you know, Stuff like that. He's there for me. Uh -huh. he, has, he has never like left. Okay. So there's a possibility that you guys are going to be back together. I have not said we'll be best. back together, but we're, actually, we're, we're, we're very good friends. You're good friends. Yes. But anything could, could, could anything happen. Anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, a few days ago, mm. after you did a song with Arab Boy, mm. uh, there are also speculations that you and Arab Boy have mm. something. And even Arab Boy talked about it. <laughs> I want you to set the record straight. Are you guys seeing each other? Are you dating Arab boy? No, Arab boy, Arab boy is, is, is my person. That's it. What makes someone um, your person? He's, he's, he's just, um, he's, he's a special person to me because he's that one person, um, even when I was reaching out to people here, mm -hmm. even when, for example, it wasn't free mm -hmm. of charge, mm -hmm. but he's the one person who didn't think twice. Mm -hmm. I called. I asked, my, I asked my people to call, and he was just there, and he was just happy. Uh -huh. So Arab boy just has a very special place, very special place. Is he your boyfriend? That's the question. Are you guys See? dating? Like, <laughs> is he your boyfriend? Uh, no just comment. Say, no, there's nothing no like comment. no comment on no, my show. No comment. On my show, what you no comment say? is oh, a comment, on. On, and no comment has to no, come no. Uh, to bring no, up something. No, he's, he's he. I just he's just a special. What person. makes him special? I just, he's a nice person. I like him. He's I'm sure you've met so many nice people in, in my <laughs> You what, really want what, an answer. What, 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 what makes him stand out from the rest? He's amazing. Mm -hmm. he, he, he's amazing. He's, um, and he actually does care mm -hmm. for me. How often do you see each other? Well, he's been very busy of late, but we do talk a lot on the phone. You talk a lot? Yes. Do you spend time together? I've told you he's been very busy. Are you intimate? <laughs> oh, God. God, I didn't know this was going to be hard. <laughs> Are you intimate with that? No. No. Come on, but he said that you guys like hmm? you guys actually he said that you are his number one. I mean, he's a, <laughs> that's what the song says. But you, <laughs> <laughs> but you are not intimate. We are close. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Um <laughs> let's let, let's put that aside mm -hmm. a bit and uh, maybe talk about other things mm -hmm. especially talking about the Kenyan music industry mm -hmm. there are so many um, artists who are doing so well in Kenya mm -hmm. um, I wanted to mention a few that have caught your attention um, I know Otile mm -hmm. I know Pundos, mm -hmm. KRG mm -hmm. I know Nadia mm -hmm. Sanaipe mm -hmm. um, Sailors mm -hmm. Calibra mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Okay. What makes their music different? Um, I just, 
for me as a singer, I listen to stuff like production, mm -hmm. the production of the song. Okay. That's what interests me, mm -hmm. intrigues me the most. Okay. And um, then for some of them, I look at the videos uh -huh. because I'm more of a visual person. Uh -huh. I can't say I sing like Mariah Carey or like Beyonce. No, no. Mm -hmm. I sing, I can maintain a key. Okay. But I put more effort in my visuals uh -huh. because I believe people like to see something before they can accept it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned uh, that you're working with uh, artists from Kenya. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Tanzania and West mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. Are you also involving artists from your countries? Maybe. Um, I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Why are you thinking about it? It's your home. No, yeah, I know it is my home, mm. but um, the, the, the ones, for example, personally that I really, really respect mm. because this specific album, mm. I'm not going to just work with anybody mm. who has a hit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I want to work with people who are mm. going to help me, who have the vision I have of timeless songs. Mm. Right now, I believe if you listen to Hitachi, mm -hmm. you still like it. Of course I yeah. do. If you listen to Where You Are, that's Blue 3 and Radio and Weasel, mm. you still like the, that's I you just... It. You think about, you still think about, you like it. There's okay. something that comes. So uh -huh. I just don't want to work with people uh -huh. who have hits. And there's so many people who have the hits. Okay. There. Uh, when you were in Blue Tree, you guys were so good mm -hmm. with Cindy, with Lillian and Babazi. Mm -hmm. Are you guys in touch? Yes. I was talking to Lillian like a couple of days ago, actually. Uh -huh. She's Cindy? supposed to come here. Oh. Cindy, it's been a while. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. I understand there were some frictions in your, that led to you, uh, the, the, the group to break up. Um, you could say so, mm -hmm. but um, let's just say because I believe because we started at a very young age, mm. we had, there was a time when mm. people literally told lies mm. to some of us, mm. and then that's what literally made the group go separate ways mm -hmm. the first time. So mm. that's what happened, and mm -hmm. it happened to Cindy. And okay, ha have you thought about maybe um, working together? Are you guys in good terms, especially with Cindy? You and Cindy? Um, well, honestly, I am. Um, even Lillian is talking me through it. I am find. I'm trying to find a way to forgive Cindy. What did Cindy do for someone who's watching and doesn't uh, know what happened? She what basically did she do? the reason for her leaving the group uh, was a lie that she told the world. What's the lie? She said we kicked out of the group, especially me. Yes, she even said it on my show. Yes. That you kicked her out, out of, of the group. group. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was a lie. So it took a long time for the remaining part of Blue 3 mm. to get back on their feet mm -hmm. because everybody hates, despised us mm -hmm. for that. So um, by nature, I have an issue when it comes to forgiving mm. and stuff like I'm learning how to do that. Mm -hmm. So I'm, tr I'm, I'm still trying to find it in my heart mm -hmm. to do But so. you need to do so so that you can move on it's like yeah. you're having something you're cutting away from. no it's um it's it's now now that i even speak about it before mm. we were literally forbid mm. forbidden like to speak about it mm. but now that i can speak about it i'm mm. just trying to 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 feel okay mm -hmm. you know like there's nothing and uh -huh. because there was a space a period of about two years where me and lillian went to hell on foot and back trying to get blue three the name blue three back because of the so she Cindy she played seen. a very huge role yes in the group and she left you guys and you guys had to yeah each of us each of us had a role yeah we, I understand. Steve, yeah steve jean but, had a way in which he groomed us mm -hmm. and each of us had something to do mm -hmm. but you see when one person goes if, mm -hmm. if people like something mm -hmm. as it is then mm -hmm. part of it breaks away and okay. the other part ruins tries to ruin yeah. what is left uh -huh. when they know uh -huh. the truth okay so what are you doing to make things okay with Cindy? Ah, uh, well. Reconciliation. Are you making any efforts? No, Lillian is working on that, actually. Why not you? What's stopping you? Well, I'm not the one who did something wrong. I was on the receiving end of, of um, the negative. But are you willing to make things yeah, work? Yeah, I willing? am. I am. Okay. So if, uh, suppose she gets to watch you, what will you be, what will you tell her? Um, I would just say that she had her reasons as to why she did what she did mm. um part of the reasons i got to find out on the side mm -hmm. via other people she spoke to mm. but um it did break our hearts mm -hmm. she it put us through a lot mm -hmm. me and end. okay so um now that you're on your feet mm -hmm. back into the game what should we expect from jackie shandero what's the new jackie shandero 
a lot, a lot, a lot. This mm-hmm. is just, um, like I said, this is, I'm a recovering addict. Uh-huh. You know, we never ever recover because anytime you're bumped into triggers mm-hmm. that are going to take you back mm-hmm. to doing something, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So I'm still recovering mm-hmm. since I went through that. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to give it my best. This specific album, I've put literally my everything. There's nights I spend in studio, mm-hmm. even though I'm not a producer, but mm-hmm. it's. I just want to give that part of me that I had kept silent for three years. Mm-hmm. Okay. So maybe I'm sure you've heard a lot from Jackie Shandiru. Uh, make sure that you keep following her and support her music because she has a lot for you. One word to your fans watching you. Um, I'd like to say mm-hmm. thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, for giving me a chance. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I've disappointed you a number of times before. I know you've read a lot of stuff, big percentage of which was lies, but I'm happy that um, you still stood by me. And I am just willing to say, this is just a thank you. I'm not gonna give you any mediocre kind of thank you, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna give you the best of Jagat Chandi. Mm-hmm. And one message to someone who has been through what you went through, someone who is even thinking of suicide like you did, one message to that person. There is nothing that we go through in our lives that is for nothing. And God will never make us go through anything that we're not gonna get over. So the one thing you should know is whatever it is that you're going through, if it's addiction, yeah, that is definitely something from the devil. But there's only one person who can overcome the devil. And once you have the faith, once you have the belief that you can get over that, Nothing is impossible with God. Thank you.